YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer here. This is my first, I think, just kind of exclusive discussion video on Gallup Racer itself. And this is going to be a tutorial and a how-to, essentially, on anybody that's new to the game or new to the series. And just some general tips that I think will help you get into the game uh, sooner, get acclimated faster, and ultimately you want to enjoy it as much as you can. Uh, tip number one, before we go ahead and get into these modes that I want to explain. Tip number one, just play the game how you want to play it. And that's really not even just this game. That's any video game out there play the game how you want to play it figure out uh, what suits your particular uh, playing style we all play video games differently so obviously you want to enjoy them you want to have fun you know what that is for you don't forget that that's rule number one now tip number two here uh, I, instead of just hopping right into season mode unless you're prepared for it, I would highly suggest you go down to practice mode. Now, this is Galp Racer 3 from 1999 on the PlayStation 1. There's hundreds, if not thousands, of horses in the entire Galp Racer series. So, again, I suggest hopping into practice mode and getting started with just a couple of quick exhibition races to kind of figure out the type of horses that you like. You know, would you prefer to play your season mode with a proceeder or a front runner or a closer, right? Uh, there's a lot of variety in this game, which is why it's always been so enjoyable. So we're going to go ahead and go to player control. I don't know if, are my original horses in here? No, because I'm not using my save file. So just go to player control if you're playing this game, and if you're playing the other Galp Racer titles, like maybe you picked up a copy of Galp Racer 2003 or Galp Racer 2004, uh, you would just go into the versus or practice mode in those games as well instead of just going into season mode. Uh, so appreciate all of you that are new to the channel that have told me that you've picked this game up recently from watching my videos. That, that is awesome to hear. I really appreciate it, and I'm glad you guys have been enjoying the content. So here in practice mode, we're just going to go ahead and go to this first open race, uh, the sunset, whatever. It's eight furlongs on the turf in San Francisco and after you select your race ideally you want to just kind of pick a horse that looks nice to you now you can click on the horse in this game you can look at them obviously as you can see with the animation you can see their stats you see their distance um, now those individual categories that are abbreviated GTS TMP so on and so forth that stands for guts temper incline breaking and conditioning they're pretty much abbreviated the same way in the other games as well and ultimately you want to look at these horses in detail and figure out okay do I like these horses stats do I like the distance do I like the stamina um, the leg type here at the bottom right corner where you see the pace uh, the further to the right the triangle is that means that horse wants to be closer to the front so the where the triangle is currently now that's essentially the mid pack preference which means this horse absurd crown wants to run right in the middle of the field but a little bit towards the back if the triangle was all the way towards the front it would um, essentially be that the horse wants to lead the race as a front runner so obviously if you're into horse racing you pretty much know all of that and um, I kind of want to use a different horse I haven't used in a while so since we're on the turf uh, you know what I don't want to use these horses just, I would like to use somebody that's um, I don't know different uh, for where you might be in the game. You know what? Let me try Night Breeze. She's a horse I used in 2004, and um, she actually still is connected to several several of our horses in that game. So we're gonna go ahead and use Night Breeze. She's got 77 speed on the turf. You see her stamina. She's 75, 73 respectively for both, and you see her leg type. That triangle is pretty much at the mid pack preference. So this is a horse I like, and then you essentially hop into the race. Now, with Gout Racer as a whole. Once you kind of get your feet wet and you understand how your horses like to run, or per personally how you like to run your horses, it, it can be flexible. You have to obviously understand the horse that you're on. You have to understand the best way to maximize their results. Uh, but ultimately, if you just don't really like the way that horse feels, then you can just pick another one. You're not obligated to stick with the horse for the rest of your gaming existence in here if you're not really comfortable with just how that horse plays. So... It's, it's important, again, for that to be one of your focuses, especially once you get into season mode, because uh, depending on the difficulty you play on as well, which I guess kind of bleeds into tip three, tip four, which they're all kind of general, you want to play on the difficulty that is going to suit your, your skill gap. There's, there's nothing uh, you have to worry about as far as, oh, if you play on, let's say, uh, easy just for the first time, like, just kind of get acclimated to the game and see how it plays if you're new to it, and then eventually you can bump up the difficulty, of course, to normal and hard. Now, keep in mind, season mode, you have to start on the actual difficulty that you want to play on. So if you want to play season mode on normal, you have to start on normal. You can't change it, at least not in this game and most of the other ones. Um, and that's important just to know where you're at. Everybody's skill level and, you know, uh, skill gap is different, so... Don't feel intimidated or worried about having to play on the hardest or the easiest difficulty. Like, 
it, it's really not a big deal and ultimately your main objective is just to have fun so you see here with this horse night breeze i like her a lot again i used her in galbraith for 2004 so i'm familiar with how she runs as a mid-pack runner uh she's got decent speed considering she's not obviously nowhere close to best close to the best horse in the game but that's just a prime example of just kind of knowing your horse feeling them out understanding when they need to get going in the stretch and then hopefully you have a nice stretch running you see there we ended up winning by about uh, probably i'm gonna guess we're gonna say either a length and a half length of three quarters or two lengths length of three quarters what i tell you over local carol um and there you go, you know, and just, again, know your skill set and how you feel in the game. If you feel like it's a little bit too challenging for you, then play on easy. Like, you know, it, it's, it's fine. I've never in my life on this channel or on YouTube judged anybody for playing a game the way they want to play it or difficulty because you, you have to do what's obviously going to make you uh, the most happiest in this game. So that's an example of a couple of races you could do. Again, try out some different horses, try out some dirt horses, try out some turf horses, colts, fillies. Just kind of get a really good wide range of what you want to do. And then if you were to hop into season mode, obviously, I'll kind of show you guys how this looks. Again, you pick your difficulty, you'll get to pick your silks, so on and so forth. So those are the best general tips I can give you. And then obviously once you uh, get into season mode, when it comes to breeding, I would say just try out some horses. You know, maybe you'll find a horse that... Um, doesn't look the greatest but that horse can end up giving you some really good foals it's happened to a lot of us that have played the game sometimes we take really good horses and they give us okay-ish foals and sometimes they give us super horses and then other times you take an okay horse and they give you like an amazing foal you know so it's it's a lot of experimentation you can do to kind of figure out the best breeding pairs so again this is just basic creation you hop in here you get your silks you uh, do colors uh, so we can do red and yellow and blue green whatever it doesn't matter but um just experiment you know what i mean figure out how you like the game the most what gives you the best enjoyment and then just obviously kind of double down on that and you'll notice as you progress through the game things will start to get easier and better and ultimately if you ever get stuck or you kind of want to know how do i unlock this special horse how do i unlock this ability there's plenty of forums and all sorts of things out there uh, for Galbracer, more than you would realize, you just have to search it up uh, that you can look at. Obviously, there's readmes, there's walkthroughs. I think there's still like original walkthroughs on IGN. I have a couple of PDFs. Um, there's plenty of information out there. And don't hesitate to obviously ask us as well in the comment section below. Plenty of insightful people in the community that will be willing to help you if you need some advice. And, of course, I will give you uh, the best advice I can based off of what I know. I obviously don't know everything about uh, every little thing in the game but for what i do know i will try to give you my best unbiased opinion and then you can do whatever you want with it um, essentially at that point you have the horse shop in every game this is where you'll obviously come to look at horses that you may want to buy to acquire for your stable um correct love i actually haven't heard of this cult interesting not that i would buy it but you know what not a bad growth type that's something to pay attention to as well once you get into season mode bottom right chart gr type obviously stands for growth type this shows you when the horse is going to peak obviously the higher the bar that's when your horse is supposedly supposed to be at their best so as you can see for this three-year-old colt he won't peak till he's between five and six years old so ideally between now as a three-year-old and then eventually once he turns five and six you want to kind of make sure you get him ready to start winning a lot of races him or her whomever by that point uh, so make sure you pay attention obviously to the growth type and um of course you can breed i talked about that but it, it's that, that's really it man you know you just everybody has to just figure out uh just kind of their their way of playing the game whatever that is and ultimately the more you play it the more you experiment i think you'll figure out where that sweet spot is and that's what gives you the most enjoyment it's worked for me and i think countless others so um i think that's all i have for you guys so if you found this helpful uh i would appreciate it if you smash the like button if not no big deal uh, thank you so much for the support again especially those of you that are new and have subscribed to the channel i hope this helps out because again like sometimes you'll go places you'll read stuff and then like they're telling you to do things a very certain way and like you can't do you can't play the game this way or that way and that's not true now to unlock certain horses to unlock certain horse abilities and titles yes you do have to do that according to how the game has it set up but you can acquire those results and those achievements with whatever horse you want as long as you're winning and obviously doing what's necessary to unlock that next reward um you know what i mean you don't necessarily have to use a uh, horse xyz in order to get you know this special ability you just have to use the right horses that you can win with and ultimately uh, produce the results in order to unlock that reward and to continue to progress so 
again hopefully this was uh, helpful to those of you that are new to the game and if you're comfortable enough doing it, i know everybody isn't because you know people kind of worry about um you know being kind of shamed for not being good at the game or whatever like don't worry about that there are plenty of people that will watch you and that will love what you do if you decide to come on youtube um some of you that have been watching know i've been I've had been wanting people to come on YouTube for years to play Gout Racer, and now we have several different people, all with their own communities, that play the game. So um, I would love to see more. That's been my main thing as far as like outside of my personal goals with this channel. I've just wanted to see more people play Gout Racer because I love seeing other people play the game in a different way, regardless of how they play it. And I like seeing the different horses, a different type of breeding experimentation that everybody does. So if you eventually feel comfortable enough to upload your videos on YouTube, don't obviously hesitate to let us know and. Um, you know, like I said, there will always be people out there that will be willing to help and uh, watch. You know what I mean? So I think that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for the love and support. Cannot say that enough. And again, hopefully you found this video helpful. I probably will do other videos like this down the line, just kind of random ones. I don't know what exactly the topics will be, but uh, I'll figure out as we go. So thank you guys so much. But until next time, Horse Racing Gamer, signing out. Be up and great fantastic day. I will see you later. And goodbye.